Well, when we went through the, when we went through the architectural selection um, panel process, um, we, we told all of the architects we didn't want them to come with any visuals. We didn't want any, any models, any, any visuals. We just wanted their ideas. And Hertz, of course, all of the architects broke that rule. But Herzog <laughs> de Meuron came and actually spoke not about a singular building, but about, they did a kind of Google map about RCA Kensington, Albertopolis, VNA, what are your relationships, Imperial College, where you have a design engineering joint program. And then they kept zooming further out towards Battersea. And then they looked at the streetscape and they looked at the neighborhood. Um, and they never once mentioned what their architectural approach would be. It was completely an urban um, vision that they presented. And that's actually, to be honest, what we sort of said, you know what, fantastic. Everybody else came with you know, beautiful models of shiny buildings. Uh, and a shiny building isn't really what we, we're, we're pretty bad with our buildings. I mean, we beat them up. <laughs> they get a lot of very heavy duty wear and a lot of nasty chemicals built, built on the floor. And I think, again, Herzog recognized that, that, that this is a this is a factory for ideas. It's, it's a big hanger. It's a big, you know, there's a triple height hanger um, right in the middle for assembly. And hopefully members of the public and, and the local community and architects at Foster's, wherever, will be able to walk past and see, see what our students are building and making um, uh, 